that today's class I want to talk about something called how to use a mouse how to use a mouse so it is our section number five using the mouse on the series or on the videos that I normally do concerning computer studies so today I want us to learn about using a mouse so what is a mouse normally see a mouse as how we are seeing it on the screen here so we are they normally say that a computer mouse is not a rodent what do they mean a rodent this is a pest which normally 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 which normally eats up these these farmers crops so but they are saying but that but it can be pesky so it is called a mouse because the two buttons at the top are said to be similar to a mouse's head and the cable connecting it to the computer is like a tile. So they are talking about this, this cutting here that it is like a tile, a tile, then its face, this is the face, that it is also like of that rodent. So then they are indicating something, the buttons, we are having the right button or what we call the right the right the right scroll button and we are having also the scroll wheel here in the middle then we are also having what we call the left mouse button or the left scroll button so here when we continue down they are, te they are giving us on how do i use the mouse how do i use the mouse so here they are trying to give us information or giving us knowledge on how to use the mouse so the thing that the mouse helps you move around the screen using the mouse takes a little practice how to hold the mouse so the thing that whenever you are using a mouse a mouse is very simple to use than a touchpad the touchpad is this mouse of the laptops whereas the the other one is for the for the desktops desktops i mean these computers which normally sit in the office table but the laptops are these ones which we do carry on a daily basis so they are easily they are easily transferable they are portable compared to the desktops then they are saying that how to hold the mouse they are saying that wrist on surface hand on mouse so they are saying that if you are holding the mouse when we look at this person the mouse is touching the ground whereas the hand is on the what on the mouse so it is not hold, it is not held in air it is it is held when it is on the surface that is why they are saying that the wrist on surface whereas the hand should be on the mouse then they are saying fingers resting on the button not in the air as how we are seeing in this picture where this person is holding the mouse you can see that the mouse the hand is hold is holding the mouse is 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 touching the the mouse whereas the fingers are resting on the buttons that is the right and the left buttons mm -hmm. the mouse works by moving across a flat surface like a mouse mat if the mouse moves off the edge of the mat can if the mouse moves off the edge of the mat you can place it back on the mat the mat they are trying to imply this is where the mouse is always placed for example we are normally having we normally go to what we call labs computer labs and we find there the mouse so there is some cutting where the mouse is always placed so it is what is they are calling the mat mm -hmm. then they are saying if you are left handed if you are left handed we we can change the mouse to suit you uh, meaning that if you are this person who uses the left hand not the right one they can give you there are also mouse for th such people then they are saying that a laptop does not have a mouse but if you like to use a mouse you can connect one easily and cheaply so what do they mean here that you can get your mouse from anywhere and you connect it onto the computer that is externally connected so how to move the mouse rest hand rest your hand lightly on the mouse gently move it in circles up and down and left to the to right so here they are trying to imply that 
here they are trying to imply that uh, every time you are using the mouse excuse me teacher teacher we, we are m m m m m m m m misguiding the, the sound so rest your hand lightly on the mouse then gently move it in circles up and down and left to the right have a look at the computer screen so here they are giving us a way on how you can use a mouse for example when moving it they are saying that after resting your hands lightly on the mouse it means that you don't hold as if it is dying or as if it is going to run away so you gently move it in circles you gently move it in circles like this like this like this up and down and left to right have a look at the computer at the computer screen what happens when you move the mouse is it an i beam shaped like a letter this one this one this one this one is what they are trying to imply the i beam mm -hmm. it starts blinking then also we have what we call a pointer finger a pointer finger is the one which helps us for example if i want to move to a certain thing let's say i want to can see if you, if you are seeing my mouse i think you can see the changes when i touch somewhere mm -hmm. pointed finger so the pointed finger is this one this one you are seeing here this is the pointed finger an arrow also that one uh -huh. so they are saying that these are these are also called these are also called cursors or pointers think of this as the as the where a mine on the screen page indicator so it's like telling they are like telling us that this can also act as an uh, as 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 a guide that guide that, that a guide to help us to always indicate or look for what we need on a computer's screen mm -hmm. then they are trying also to show us other things here on 5.3 they are showing us that uh, we are having what something called what is a cursor the other ones which are always moving these ones a cursor is the mouse pointer that indicates where the mouse is on the screen it can look like any of the pictures below we can see the eye we can see this one we can see the arrow we can see the hyperlink is called the computer busy this one that always comes when the computer is loading something uh, and then hyperlink it is it, it tells you that if you click if you touch on that or if you click it will take you to a certain page it, that is why it is called a hyperlink then a pointer it is just taking you pointing something to anything then the click to enter text if for example if you want to add text you will use that one then how to scroll scrolling lets you move up and down the page where where there are a couple of ways you can scroll one you can use the scroll button or the wheel on the mouse the wheel the other wheel which we saw the other side this one this one you can use either this or you can use the you, the left mouse button and you scroll down you deep press and scroll down so you can see they are saying that you can use the scroll button or the wheel button or you click on the down all up arrows on the scroll bar as we are as we are having them here this is up this is down mm -hmm. so as we are continuing we are having another thing called how to click so you tell the computer what to do by clicking the mouse press the left button gently and then release the mouse button so what does what do they what do they imply here they are trying to tell us that if you want to select or if you want to click you have to hold on the you have to press on the mouse pointer you will hear some ka sound saying papa titi so that ka sound it Im implies that you've clicked or you've selected a certain text or a certain work document on the computer then how to double click quickly press the left mouse twice in a, a in a row 
quickly press the left button twice in a row. So by pressing by pressing double, twice the left mouse button is what we call double click. Keep your finger resting on the button. Do not take your finger off while double clicking. So for you to gain much, 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 and much, much, much experience on this, I would encourage you, my friend, to do more, more mouse practices. So do more, more, more mouse practices. It is going to help you to become a very good, 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 good computer mouse user. So these are some of the of the of, of, of where you can access what we call some. Some, some some questions some questions you also you can go to these links then you get some questions and try out thank you so much thank you so much for watching continue to subscribe and click that notification bell to always be updated on every video that i upload thank you so much i remain as your friend i have a martin